mystic scribes. Presents. Perhaps the most important documentary television series ever produced. These are The Urantia Files Fact or Fiction What are the Urantia Files? At the beginning of the 20th century, scores of celestial beings spent the next few decades delivering their fifth epochal revelation to us. They said that their message was to benefit us Urantians by way of the knowledge we will gain from the revelation. They contend that their revelation is nothing less than the entire history of the cosmos. And this revealed knowledge is what this riveting new documentary television series is all about. Let the apocalypse begin. Are you ready for this supposedly divine knowledge yet? If your answer is yes, then hang on tight because you're in for the ride of your life. The Celestials tell us that our world Urantia is just one of trillions of inhabited worlds lying within seven super-universes. They tell us that we are all individual personalities that survived death and that we're ultimately destined to unite with God. They tell us that due to these revelations, we are in the process of taking a gigantic evolutionary leap forward. And they tell us much, much more. For they tell us of the birth of our super universe, our solar system, and our own world. And they tell of our evolutionary history and maintain that it's both a unique and very tragic one. For they tell us of the Lucifer Rebellion that enveloped scores of worlds including our own Urantia. The Celestials also tell us of their involvement in our development as a species. And they give us some astonishing details about our very, very special place in the hearts and minds of all creation. For they tell us a great deal about the man we all know as Jesus of Nazareth. Information far more complete and wondrous than anything we've ever known about him before. For they say that he is also our Michael's son, creator and sovereign ruler of Nebadon, our local universe. They also tell us much about God, the universal father. Pantheon of celestial personalities as well. Could any of this possibly be true? Are we really just one of several trillion inhabited worlds throughout a vast creation? Are we really now known throughout much of creation as the world of the cross? Were Adam and Eve not only real, but celestial beings who came here to biologically uplift humanity? Is Jesus really ruler of not just Urantia, but millions of other inhabited worlds too? Does a fragment of God really dwell within all of us? These are the Urantia Files. Are they fact or are they fiction? 
we intend to find out. Do you? 12-21-2012